Hi folks and welcome to Foursquare Studios. I'm Dr. Dan and on today's video we're going to show you about our new product called the Highlight Discs. We're going to show you how to use them and why you need them in your lighting kit. The Highlight Discs were designed to be used in conjunction with your studio grids. These grids can be purchased through your own strobes manufacturer. What you do is you take the disc, you put it inside of the reflector. On top of that goes your grid that secures the Highlight Discs and now you're ready to go. You saw that the highlight disc fits the Hensel, and now you'll see that it fits Comet. It fits Dynalite. And it fits Elenchrome. It fits an Alien B. And now we'll show you a demonstration. What we did is we took a strobe head, put in our highlight disc with a grid, and we shot it into some white plexi. Okay, let's take a look at our shooting diagram. Here's the camera. Approximately 12 feet away, we have a four foot square piece of white plexi set up. Behind that, we have a strobe head pointing into the white plexi. Let's take a look at a shot with just a seven inch reflector. The next shot, we put in a 20 degree grid. The next shot, we have a 20 degree grid with a four inch highlight disc. Here we have the 20 degree grid with a 3 inch highlight disc. Now we have a 2 inch highlight disc with the 20 degree grid. Now let's move on to some real life examples. Here is our set. We place the edge light approximately 7 feet from Kim to camera left. The camera is approximately 12 feet in front of Kim. We're using an 80 to 200 millimeter lens set at 80 millimeters and our camera settings will remain constant at f 5.6, 1 200th of a second, and ISO 100. In this demonstration, we puff smoke so you can better see the light effect. Our first shot was done with an open 6 inch reflector, no modification. You can clearly see how the light is going everywhere, there's very little shape, a lot of spill going to Kim's face to camera right. We placed a light meter at Kim's shoulder towards the light, and the reading was f 16. For our second shot, we placed a 20 degree grid in the reflector. Now you can see here that we're starting to get a little bit better control over the excess light. Our meter read F8. Now let's start controlling our light even more by adding a 4 inch highlight disc. Here you can see the light feathering off and becoming less intense, especially at the top of her head and on her hands. Now you're starting to place the light exactly where you want it. The light meter read at F6.3. This image we placed a 3 inch highlight disc and here you can really see how we can direct our light and be more precise. The light read at F4.5. Now if you only just want a little kiss of light placed you put in the 2 inch highlight disc as we did here. The light meter read at 3.2. Kim is left and now you can begin to see how the highlight disc can finesse your lighting. This technique has been used in glamour and fashion photography for years. To get your own personal set today, go to lightworddirect.com or go to my website, theplanetdan.com. This is Dr. Dan for Foursquare Studios. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.